Hello there good people. Good morning from Dhaka, Bangladesh. How are you all doing? So today I'll be uh, talking about a fragrance house that not many reviewers or people like to talk about. Perhaps it's an uncommon house or a house that not many people prefer. They have a lot of fragrance under their house and I used to be always confused. I'm still confused how to say the name but it's Aigna I think and I'm gonna be talking about number one Oud. Recently I got this from one of our retail outlets here. Uh, this fragrance basically is you can see the name is Oud. So if you're not a big fan of Oud, you don't have to watch the review. But if you like watching, you can, you know, see, you know, the presentation, what it smells like. I like to talk in depth of fragrances. Um, the thing is, uh, these fragrances, uh, I have covered like, I think three, uh, as far as my memory serves me. The Aigna White, the Black, and then I did uh, X Limited or something like that, that fragrance. So three, I think, or if I did more, I don't remember. So this one, I remember. Uh, trying it like last month or so or earlier this month uh, in a another outlet it's like uh, we call it unimart it's a shopping mall they have different sections they have everything under one roof so the gulshan branch the biggest branch we have uh, they had this fragrance and i tried it and there was no offer available it was going full retail so i was not like sure if i want to pay 60 bucks for this but you know i wanted to get a little bit discount and that's what i got in uh, sandara uh, one of the shops they're having some sales for eid up to 50% so this one I got some sales but it came down to agreeable price point like under 50 45 dollars let's say so that's a good price I feel and I really like the smell that's why I bought it and I feel there are reviews on this but not major major review or major talk where people are like oh let me go try that Aigna fragrance uh, so if you like Oud you can try this if you like this house you can try it also there's no harm in learning that's the whole idea that's the whole story for me to get this so i really like the packaging i have many oud fragrances in designer niche side but mostly i'm a designer guy i like to cover every single house's oud oud noir uh higo boss bottle oud you get the idea polo oud i can go all day so very nice coloration few days back i got jaguar oud that one was beautiful fragrance uh, also very beautiful presentation no exception here you can tell golden and black sort of give you the idea so there you go that's the side the Aigna A okay back nice presentation really really uh, good looking presentation I would say this is a standard packaging nothing extraordinary but the coloration is very very beautiful it's neat okay like uh, Ross would say I am also a neat guy you know <laughs> uh, in friends if you watch friends back in the days so this is that bottle okay first of all let me take my time and say how much I love this bottle this bottle is stunning 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 is the perfect word i would just say i'll show you why dark fade up amber color here's the cap and it has leather wrapping it has initials of aigna a golden amber dark color the name i don't know the juice color i haven't decanted any but it's dark bottle i cannot tell uh there's the base i mean uh, it reminds me of very expensive fragrance so this one looks expensive okay it, it looks like you paid top dollar for designer it's a high class designer kind of a bottle i just like it so much look at that coloration beautiful let me show you what i mean you know i like presentation sometimes i compare if you see esimiake noir ambre i think yeah lotus noir ambre i love this packaging dark amber similar theme okay see i know what i'm saying <laughs> so yeah let's look at the cap cap quality is good got good weight to it not super heavy like some of the other ones like you know i have uh, they have some metallic caps it's metallic but not super heavy okay sprayer is very good sprayer is good i, I would say solid sprayer it shoots out without any obstruction or anything so i have it pre-sprayed on the paper that's the far dry down and let me spray this once again for the top note let's go let's just go three i'll tell you why i did the three okay so let that settle down and this fragrance let me talk about the notes on fragrantica Top notes are cinnamon, nutmeg, and coriander. When you hear those notes, you know right away, spicy, spices coming up. Middle notes are rose, violets, cloves, and jasmine. Uh, base notes are oud, leather, saffron, and cashmere. Okay, so any of these notes, if you see, uh, perhaps a couple of notes are light, easy going, let's say coriander, herbal green, uh, violet leaves, violets, you know, light, you know, it gives the ozonic vibe. Uh, jasmine is a floral, light floral can be extremely potent too but jasmine in general is soft and then at the base i think cashmere cashmere and it's like a sweet woody i i forgot exactly what note that is but it's most like a su sweet woody driftwood kind of smell i guess 
but apart from that every single other note gives you the feel it's going to be a warm spicy dark fragrance so what this is it is all those things when you smelled it opening you know on my skin i put this on my skin i'm like bless this fragrance okay first of all bless this fragrance because i love the opening this one remind me of that very popular fragrance or very favorite rather of mine is armani uh Ode Nuit. i think Ode Nuit oud okay i think that's the bottle i have the o Opurom, okay, then I don't know if it's Odenui or Opurom Oud. You know, the Armani is this bottle, triangular shape bottle. They have the Oud, they have the Nui. I review both, check them out. This one reminds me of the Oud version, okay. I am so sad I don't have that fragrance anymore. I sold it off, I was really stupid of me. Man, it's so nice. It reminds me a little bit of Polo Supreme Leather, a little bit, because I feel there's a hint of leather in this, which is in the base. But that's not what this fragrance is all about. This fragrance has mostly a spicy affair if you like fragrance like spice bomb if you like fragrances like uh uh fandy fandy assoluto okay spices and if you like saffron if you like a lot of saf saffron like fragrances like dolce and gabbana mysterious night the one mysterious night la nuit de l'homme you know let let me just do wink because there's no um spices like cardamom in it but they have cloves right so it reminds me a little bit of cardamom for some reason a little bit of lanuit de uh, it's a familiar sort of spice it's not what this is not is a beast mode okay this fragrance is not beast mode this is not a skanky oud like black back to black oh, no sorry mancera's black to black clove like amped up like anything you will go crazy if you put it on summer but this one is not going to do that you can get away with this wearing this in office slight uh siage or you know projection is not super heavy but let's say you have a small room you know you work in a small room and then you have ac going on and you have like five six sprays it will have a nice little siage people enter their your room they'll smell you but it will not dif disturb anybody okay great great features you know this is the perfect uh fragrance if you love wood but you don't want to smell like skanky or uh, animal like those there's no i don't notice anything dirty like you know civet you know one of those uh, butt smells <laughs> you're not gonna get that from this it's not a skanky oud so very polished something i would imagine a house like aramis would make you know but not as animalic or not uh, this fragrance doesn't smell dated okay so a little bit spicy i think the right age or the age range for this fragrance i think is a mature crowd still 30 plus men would love this and this fragrance is a little bit like for those men you know they already have beard they shave every day and they have a couple of gray hair here and there but they already have experience in life. They have gone through stuff. It taught them things, okay? And they have bumped into a lot of trouble, some people, and they have faced challenges. And now they learn, they know, they know better. This is a fragrance for them, you know? Father figure, uh, if you're married, uh, would I be uh, recommending this to teenagers? Yes, perhaps if you like spicy fragrances, but uh, if you are a sucker for, let's say, uh, beast mode, really, long-lasting animalic this is not it okay so very polished leather saffron and uh, oud okay but the oud is very much like the one you smell in hugo boss bottle oud so i'm giving you ideas for comparison purpose but this one doesn't smell like one of those exact do okay so this one has vibes of many so here is the part where people are scared of the rose where is the rose this fragrance rose i do not think this one gets the chance to take a like peek you know like like hey i'm here too and then the bigger brother's like sit down you know <laughs> that's what i feel the cinnamon you know the nutmeg all those spices you know think of a gucci puram one spicy you know like it's spicy warm so if it's mild cold weather it will really warm you up like a nice little soup going for soup you know you just keep trying to keep warm but the rose never really pops up to ruin the party like aramis calligraphy rose that is man that is a rose heaven at the same time it's a lot of rose so if you're scared of rose do not worry it reminds me a little bit of uh, mfk perhaps oud for uh, no not oud for uh, oud cashmere mood bit on the serious dry side it's a dry oud so nothing to worry nothing to worry the uh, rose in this part of the dried rose petals that's that's at most i think this one ladies can wear it too if you have a little bit mature nose you can wear this you can get away easily if you have that persona I think it will be a nice little evening, you know, spending in a nice five-star hotel, going for dinner and stuff like that. It will smell very elegant and it's not trying to do too much. It's for personal enjoyment. Very luxurious perfume. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And I'm just so happy I got it and I can review this. 
I would suggest this fragrance, you try these. You know, let me put some on my skin. Let me tell you, the papers sometimes don't do justice. Yeah, always put a fragrance on your skin that will actually give you a full idea because fragrance smells different on different different skin, right? Everybody's skin chemistry is different, dry skin, oily skin, uh, hot weather, warm, like cooler weather. Fragrances smell different different occasions. Let's just do the three because I'm not scared of the oath. See, I'm not scared. I'm going to go to sleep after a while after having breakfast, but uh, I'm not scared to put this on my skin because it's not super uh, my like super beast. This is not super uh, animalic. When I smell it right away, you get those spices. I think the hint of bergamot they didn't mention. Slight bit of citrus after a very, very uh, brief period of time. But slowly, you know, that citrus immediately phase, phasing away, like fading away. You get that nutmeg, man. Yeah, definitely you can get that nutmeg. You know, if there are some fragrances, they have that pink pepper nutmeg sort of combo. This one is the spicy affair, but not nose burning spice. Very nice wearing on the skin. If you have a leather jacket, I think Rahul Sharma Bhai from India, he's a great uh, nose and collector. He said this is such a hidden gem. I think he said that. And he said such for the price, it's a gem. So I don't think this is going to be super expensive, but some shops can charge you if you pay retail. Man, if you have leather jacket, let me tell you, if you can imagine a guy, he's wearing this black leather jacket, you know, like in the winter, but not those heavy ones, like the biker kind. And he has some of this on his, uh, this has good oil distribution, man. It's oily. Okay. But if he's wearing this on the leather jacket, imagine like it's a cold night and his girlfriend comes and gives him a hug and stuff like that. And she'll smell it on him, you know, somewhere in the hair you can apply or the neck. Okay. And some, you know, some particular spots where you actually can project. Let's say you have it on your uh, jacket here, the sleeve. And then, she, you know, when you hug her, you know, she smells you and she captures the smell from you onto her. And then she'll start smelling you all day. And then it will become a memory. Okay. That's how great things happen. This fragrance, I believe in cold weather can be a true star. Okay. If you do not like wood, if you do not like saffron, leather, all those spices, you'll still like it. That's what I feel. Okay. But give it a try. Do not blind buy. I truly feel nice little buy. Okay. For the specially price I paid, I feel I got it for half the price. That's what I feel. The quality, really good quality fragrance. I hope Mark is watching it. My fragrance guru, perhaps he could review it if you haven't, but if he did, I will watch it. He would like this. If this is his kind of uh, stuff. Maybe he will say, I want a little bit more performance because I live in Canada. But it may not cut through the cold. But early days of winter, like fall, this is a great fragrance. Try it out. And I talked a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry. But I feel like, you know, this fragrance deserved their praise. Such a beautiful bottle, top to bottom. Very impressive fragrance. So I'll give this fragrance a still 8 out of 10. Just because the performance is just right, but not super potent. It performs like Polo Supreme Leather and Supreme Oud or uh, the Oud basically combined together. Yeah, Polo Supreme Leather and Oud. If you combine them together, you're going to get this quality. Or a little bit of Amber Blend by Davidoff. So, man, I gave hundreds of examples. If you don't understand, I'm helpless. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. 8 out of 10 for Aigna number 1 Oud. Amazing fragrance, amazing designer of borderline niche quality. Just that, try it on your skin before you buy. Have a nice day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh. Bye-bye.